ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Monday Night Walker. We have a score to settle, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. This is Monday Night Walker episode 155, I think. Either way, welcome in. Drew McIntyre, last week, was supposed to be in the tournament to crown a number one contender to the WWE Championship. We, right before that match started, right before he was supposed to get out there and do his match, he was attacked backstage by Riddle from the CWO. Drew McIntyre was taken out of the tournament and replaced with one-fourth of the CWO, somebody who has been on a very weird career path lately, Bailey, and now she is the number, Bailey, by the way, former women's champion Bailey is the number one contender to the WWE Championship, and Drew McIntyre's pits because that was his position. That was the position he was supposed to be in, and he blames the CWO, obviously, even though it was Riddle that attacked him, but Drew McIntyre tonight is going to go one-on-one -on -one with the leader of the CWO, AJ Styles, and hopefully settle a little bit of a score that they have as the CWO is responsible for Drew McIntyre not being in that tournament. I don't even know if Drew McIntyre is taking it personally or not. I just think he's pissed because they chose to take him out, you know, out of everybody else. And what ultimately led to the CWO being back in the WWE Championship picture in, my, may I add, the weirdest way possible. But there you see the leader of the CWO, the former WWE Champion, the man that Stone Cold Steve Austin took the WWE Championship off of, AJ Styles. Now look, AJ Styles realizes that he can't be in the WWE Championship picture for a little while. He was champion for a whole year. He's not getting any opportunities anytime soon. So what better way to give your, to your faction the WWE Championship back by not giving it to Riddle, not giving it to Kevin Owens, but we're doing what nobody expected, and that's strap the rocket to the woman in the group, Bailey, who has spent a month Taking some something, maybe she's you know honestly, I'm not gonna throw any accusations. Let's just say she works out really hard. She buffed up. She didn't even need to to wrestle the men. She could have just done it, but she decided to buff up, and now she's the number one contender of the WWE Championship thanks to the CWL. Drew McIntyre was the one at expense there, and oh my God, Styles. While McIntyre's oh my God on his little revenge tour here. AJ Styles starts the match off with a burning hammer. You can't make this stuff up, ladies and gentlemen. The, the former WWE Champion completely taking it to Drew McIntyre right now as he lands a springboard moonsault rope break. That referee was a little ridiculous calling that rope break. I don't know how I feel about that one. But Styles going up to the top rope. Drew McIntyre has been down this entire match, by the way. McIntyre has done absolutely nothing. Styles misses off the top rope and that gives Drew McIntyre an opportunity to get back up to his feet and deliver some punishment to the leader of the CWO oh my lord cover on Styles and a kick out at two Styles really messed up that that's what they call a high risk ladies and gentlemen at any point oh my god another slam from McIntyre kind of a power bomb slash spine buster situation Back and forth we go here. And now Drew, I don't even know if he's going to feel better. You know what I mean? He could win this match, beat, you know, AJ Styles, who's... Uh-oh. Oh, wait a minute. No. What is this now? Riddle. Matt Riddle, who attacked Drew McIntyre last week. Iron McIntyre down. Wait, Drew, you got to turn around, though, Drew. Drew's, Drew's uh, not paying attention. Styles, no way. No way. The roll-up. On Drew McIntyre, there's absolutely no way. Cover! Oh, and a kick out. Riddle tried to provide a distraction there. And Styles tried to take advantage. But, I mean, Drew McIntyre was on top for a little while. And after that distraction, it has been all AJ Styles and a forearm right to the head. 
Man, Riddle, I mean, I don't think Riddle did much, but he, uh-oh. I was going to say he really helped AJ get back into this match, but McIntyre blocked in the suplex, delivers one of his own. Cover that, there's no way that's going to be enough to put the phenomenal one away and a kick out at one. Our main event tonight, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, is, uh, oh, God, I don't even, I can't even believe the words are about to come out of my mouth. Our main event is The Rock versus the new number one contender for the WWE Championship, Bailey. Uh, that is our main event tonight. A lot of other action going on tonight. Cover on Drew McIntyre. And a kick out at one. Uh, a match we actually have coming, coming up next is the new women's champion that we haven't seen since she won the championship. Ronda Rousey going to defeat the woman that she actually didn't pin to win the championship. And that's Liv Morgan. I mean, Morgan wasn't the women's champion going into that match, but Morgan wasn't pinned either. You know what I mean? Ronda cost Liv Morgan, uh, you know, that singles victory over Rhea Ripley by creating a disqualification in that match. Liv Morgan hasn't actually suffered a loss to either Rhea Ripley or uh, Ronda Rousey. So Liv Morgan's finally going to get that one-on-one -on -one shot she feels like she deserves. And honestly, I agree. And that would be a huge win if she can beat the women's champion. AJ Styles still taking it to McIntyre right now. He is all over him. Off the ropes once again. Drops the knee right down on the face of Drew McIntyre. This is getting scary, folks, because Drew has not had any type of... Oh, no. Calf crush. That might be a rope break. That is absolutely a rope break. Really bad ring awareness there by AJ Styles. McIntyre getting dragged to the, to the middle of the ring. I don't know if this is going to be enough to put him away. But Styles is going to go into the cover regardless here. Is that going to be enough to put Drew McIntyre down for the three count? Oh! I don't know how that leg damage would have done it, but, you know, whatever. Oh, my God. Styles on the outside of the ring. Now, Drew struggling to get up to his feet. AJ Styles. No! Oh, goes for the phenomenal forearm. And McIntyre. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. McIntyre blocked the phenomenal forearm. Drew up on his feet now. And Styles refusing to let Drew get any more offense his way. Cole clothesline, but Styles catches it into an Irish whip. And McIntyre gets into the outside of the ring. What is AJ thinking here? McIntyre's down. Calling for him to get up to his feet. Styles is 10 feet above the ground here. Oh, no. More high risk from AJ Styles, and it didn't pay off. Drew with the reversal. Man, even with the distraction from Riddle, AJ Styles has not been able to put Drew McIntyre away just yet. Back into the ring now we go. Oh, my God. Drew wasting no time here. Future Shock DDT into the cover on AJ Styles. No, and a kick out. Drew can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Drew setting up for it, though. Drew setting up. He's got AJ Styles right where he wants him. Styles doesn't see it coming. Claymore. Styles is busted open from the boot of Drew McIntyre, and that's it. What a match between these two. Riddle tried to provide a distraction to help AJ Styles win. Styles couldn't capitalize. And Styles went for, I mean, he did a lot. The calf crusher went for a pin afterwards, didn't put him away. Phenomenal forearm was reversed. Several high risk moves reversed as well. Styles was creating a lot of offense uh, in the early stage of this matchup. But that plus Riddle plus a calf crusher attempt plus a phenomenal form attempt. Not enough to put Drew away. Styles had a valiant effort with that Future Shock DDT kick out. But it was the Claymore from the corner making AJ Styles bleed from the head. While at the same time picking up the victory. Drew McIntyre. I don't know if he feels better about himself. But he's definitely... Uh, Happy he beat the leader of the CWO, but I don't think Drew McIntyre is finished by a long shot with the CWO. We're gonna see where that goes, ladies and gentlemen. Up next, what is up next? John Cena. I think John Cena is in action up next. We got the Intercontinental Champion in action. John Cena is the Intercontinental Champion. Let's get to that. It has taken a long time to get to this position, ladies and gentlemen, but John Cena has managed to become the Intercontinental Champion. It's amazing. I Listen, we didn't think he's had a chance in hell 
of ever getting Illusion. Hey! Cena is the Intercontinental Champion, beating Goldberg at Survivor Series. Oh my lord. Look at that. The man is proud, ladies and gentlemen. The man is proud. What the hell? Who the hell? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's Isaiah Swerve Scott. Wait a minute. Isaiah Swerve Scott. What? He's just standing there letting Cena. Oh, my God. Isaiah Swerve Scott, who became freaking uh the the second to last winner why did i say it like that runner up of the number one contenders tournament last week he came in second place and he's out here attacking john cena cena though not letting it happen swerve upset at the fact that he lost in the finals to bailey he was one win away from being the number one contender of the wb championship but what did john cena do i think swerve's trying to target the intercontinental championship this is, I mean, this is despicable by Isaiah Swerve Scott. The man was out here going to fight Bobby Lashley. And I see his bleeding. Oh, my God. Look at the inside of his hat. The man is bleeding and swerve. Oh, my God. This is not okay. This is not okay. Swerve. What is, he's attacking Cena just for being a champion that, you know, he maybe can get to. I mean, this is ridiculous. Cena trying to work back into this thing. This is not a match, ladies and gentlemen. Swerve is just attacking him, and Cena is just defending himself. I mean, this is outrageous. Oh, Swerve ducks the elbow. Cena is literally bleeding from his head. I mean, we gotta get we gotta get him checked up on. I mean, this is ridiculous. Oh my lord! Swerve is beating the hell out of this guy right now. Look at this. Oh God! Back and forth we go here. Why isn't the referee like doing anything about this? Swerve clearly wants the Intercontinental Championship. I don't know. I don't know what we I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. That was ridiculous. We gotta get to our next match. Yes indeed, yes indeed. It was a triple threat match at Survivor Series for the women's championship. Ronda Rousey pinning the actual women's champion, Rhea Ripley, to win the women's championship. Look at that. But this whole uh, story about these three women centered also around Liv Morgan. Ronda Rousey broke up a match between Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley that ended in a disqualification because of her interference. And because of that, Liv Morgan put her sights on both of these women, attacking both of them backstage, you know, saying, listen, uh... Like, I deserve to be the women's champion as well. I had this opportunity to beat the women's champion. You took that away from me. I mean, Liv Morgan has a really big opportunity here to take down Ronda Rousey, who is now the women's champion. It's a different story, folks. Still come tonight, the hardcore championship on the line. And then we got, besides our main event, we got Seth. No, it's not Seth Rollins. I think it's John Moxley. Sorry, John Moxley from The Shield. Versus Big E, of course, Moxley and Reigns will be competing for the Tag Team Championships at Hol uh, Christmas Chaos. What's the pay-per-view called? Christmas Chaos. Hey. I'm all over the place today. Don't worry about me. Good Lord. Liv Morgan still on her uh, little deranged gimmick. Unable to capture the Women's Championship. Like she intended on doing. So we've gotten Liv versus Rhea, and that ended in a bad way. We got Ronda versus uh, Ra uh, Rhea as well. But now we got Liv versus Ronda. This is a match that we have not seen yet, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm very excited for this because Morgan, I feel like throughout this entire story between the three women, has just not had an opportunity to show that she still has what it takes to be women's champion this could be a different story folks she was she's the longest running women's champion of all time and she's been swept under the rug ever since losing it to you know set aside for people like rhea ripley um 
Ronda Rousey, Bailey, especially Bailey, Shayna Baszler. Here we go. Ronda. Oh my God. Liv went for a kick. I don't know how that didn't connect. And Ronda going to continue or start the arm damage, which is so essential to her moveset as well. When you hurt that arm, it is almost a done deal that you're going to win this match. I mean, it's unbelievable. Ronda taking the leg. Just a whole bunch of limb damage going on for the women's champion. This is Ronda's first singles match since becoming the women's champion. It's her first match in general since being the women's champion. And I know that Liv Morgan is a hungry person, and Ronda Rousey knows that. Oh, my God. As you can see, springboard bulldog from Liv Morgan. What the hell? Ronda knows how hungry Liv is, how much Liv wants to beat somebody like Ronda Rousey to get back in contention. So Ronda needs to do everything in her power. Oh, my God. To stop her. Especially in her first match since winning the title. How embarrassing would that be? Ronda, look at that. The baddest woman on the planet. Open palm strikes right to the freaking face. Oh, goes for some more. But Liv counters with some forearms instead. Now attacking the leg is Liv Morgan. Multiple times here as well. How about a third? Good lord. Why not? Are we going for it again? <laughs> Jeez, three times. Just a kick right to the hamstring. And Morgan is all over the women's champion right now. We know she can be. Listen, there's no doubt in my mind that Liv Morgan can beat Ronda Rousey or, you know, even win the women's championship once again. It's just a matter of, you know, the person that she's facing being more hungry than she is. I mean, Liv Morgan hasn't lost a step. She's just lost her mind since losing the women's championship back in July off the ropes. Oh, and Ronda. It's very rare when you see somebody reverse that move. No way. I think Ronda was going for the Piper's Pit. R Morgan blocked it. That was a huge reversal by Liv Morgan. And Ronda going to make her pay, though. Good God. Are we smoking crack? Look at this. Ronda just keeping on Liv Morgan, bullying her. German suplex from out of the corner. This is still very back and forth here between the two. Morgan. She got to hit something big here. Can she do it? Goes for a 201 phase breaker, and it's blocked by the women's champion as well. Oh, man. That is not good for Liv. Here we go. Some more arm damage, maybe. Tossing Morgan. Maybe not arm damage, but definitely extend. Well, there you go. Man, oh, man. Now, the question is, if, if Morgan can't beat Ronda Rousey, who even might have a chance? R Liv was going for that springboard off the corner. And Ronda caught her before she can even get that uh, that move off. This is very back and forth here. I'm liking this match. I don't know if that's going to be enough to put somebody like Morgan away. No way. Ronda Rousey from the ground. Look at the strength on the women's champion. Piper's pit. And Morgan is down. Covered by the women's champion. Ronda Rousey has just been... No! Oh, wow. Not yet. Referee counted as a two. And Ronda going to soften Liv Morgan up some more before she hits that, that arm bar. Oh, maybe not, though. Liv Morgan with a counter. Huge counter. Morgan needs to get back into this thing desperately. She has been the victim of a pretty brutal beat down from Ronda Rousey over the last few minutes. Morgan has taken her sweet old time there. What a mistake from Liv. Not taking Ronda Rousey as seriously as you need to. Ronda was frozen for a second. Went for, a, went for an arm bar. Morgan blocked it. Hold on. This could be huge. Ronda went for an arm bar. And Morgan blocked it. Oh, my God. Oblivion. I saw it coming. I saw it coming. Can Morgan put Ronda Rousey away? No. The women's champion only giving up a two count to Liv Morgan. That was a close call, though, folks. Wow. What a match between these two. Morgan on the top rope. Elbow drop, and Ronda gets out of the way. Man, Ronda needs to do something big here. On the ropes goes Morgan. What is this? Some more. Oh, my God. More working on that arm. I mean, this is unbelievable. Morgan up on her feet. 
and oh sends Ronda to the outside Morgan on the top rope you gotta be kidding me oh my lord if Liv Morgan's ribs are not broken I'd, I'd be a shock man I can't even lie to you I'd be I'd be shocked that is unbelievable Morgan just jumped from the the top turnbuckle to the floor and ate nothing but knees are you kidding me These women are just brawling on the outside here. I mean, this is unbelievable. Ronda blocking the, the shots from Morgan. Ronda doesn't even look like she's worried about a 10 count here. This is unreal. Referee at a six count. I mean, we can't just... Oh, my God. Ronda. If, again, if Liv Morton can't beat Ronda Rousey, who can? You already got Bailey entangled in the freaking WWE Championship picture. I mean, this is ridiculous. Ronda going to taunt Morgan. I can't even see her. Ronda going to break up the count before referee can even get to nine. I don't know if Morgan was going to make it back in the ring in time. And the assault continues. Dude. This is unreal. Referee counting out both of these women. Once again, Morgan reset the count. But back and forth, we continue to go. Oh, dude, Ronda is not concerned at all about winning this match on the inside of the ring. She could give a damn. Three. Referee at a three count. Morgan is hurt. You can see her, man. She is. Whoa, dude. Morgan's got to get back in this ring. Ronda going to wait for her to do so. But she's going to walk right into the freaking lion's den. Ronda. Oh, my God. I mean, this is unbelievable. Oh, my God. Oh my god! Oblivion out of nowhere from Liv Morgan to Ronda Rousey, the cover! Oh my god! Liv Morgan! Holy crap! Has just pinned the women's champion. Oblivion out of nowhere as well. Wow. What a win for the former women's champion. What do we even do here? Screw it. Next week. Next week, I don't even care. Next week, we're having Liv Morgan versus Ronda Rousey for the women's championship. I cannot wait for that. Oh man. Why yeah, why not? We could we could wait till Christmas chaos. We're not gonna. We're gonna We're gonna do um We're gonna do it next week. Alright, let's get to our hardcore championship match. Who's gonna answer the challenge for the hardcore championship? Let's do it. Who is going to answer the open challenge for the hardcore championship? Oh, boy. Well, how many times is he going to try to go for this championship before he inevitably wins it? Austin Theory headed to the ring to face Triple H for the hardcore title. This could finally be the time, ladies and gentlemen. He's had a lot of opportunities for a, uh, a lot of championships. He was Intercontinental Champion for a month. But that's okay. Austin Theory is good, man. He was the Intercontinental Champion. He beat The Rock for the title. He's come a long way since the last time he's competed for the Hardcore Championship. This is, could be a new time for Austin Theory. I'm excited for this. <laughs> we saw him compete in a triple threat match. Almost won the opportunity to uh, compete for the WWE Championship. Former Intercontinental Champion as well. Looking to add the Hardcore Championship to his resume. To his repertoire. This is going to be good. But there comes the game. Who mercilessly, viciously, violently beat Bailey, 
who was the hardcore champion at the start of last week's episode, uh, to win the hardcore championship himself. Since then, Bailey's gone on to do more, uh, you know, in impressive things like become the number one contender for the WWE Championship. But you know, hey. Well, I mean, listen, Triple H, uh, we've not had a really good, consistent run of successful hardcore championship defenses. We really have not. Um, everyone has lost it week after week after week lately. So, can Triple H be, like, the first person in a long time to hold the hardcore championship for, like, what, a month? That'd be impressive. You know what I mean? Look at that. Theory's not even looking at Triple H. He's just... <laughs> He's doing his own thing. I respect it. Man, I'm excited for this. I, I keep saying that, but I am. Theory is a very, very talented wrestler. And I'm excited to see what he's bringing to the table. Uh, for this, I th believe, his third hardcore championship match ever. We're not doing... Uh, we don't... Yeah, they don't do introductions anymore. It's a little weird. Anyway, here we go. Theory, the hardcore champion. Triple H, the game. Triple H. Let's do this. Here we go. Theory, the game, hardcore championship on the line. Who's going to get the first move off in the game? Triple H puts Theory into the corner. Oh, and there's no time wasted from the hardcore champion. Just completely taking this match over. But Theory coming back pretty quickly here with an Irish whip of his own. Triple H goes into the corner. Look at this. Theory, Irish whip again into the ropes, bounces off the ropes himself in a forearm, taking Triple H down that is why Austin Theory is very, very, very impressive. Oh my God, ankle lock. Oh, he's got it really locked in. Triple H might be in trouble here, folks. This match just started and this man's already got an ankle lock on him. Triple H desperately trying to fight it off. Kicking out the other leg of Theory, the right leg, and managed to get Theory off of him. Oh my God, both men back up to their feet. And Triple H tries to go for another grapple and Theory blocks it. More strikes though from the challenger. And a forearm right to the spine. Theory is not letting up on this man whatsoever. Fireman's carry and Triple H with the reversal. Dude. Theory is not letting up on Triple H. Trying to win the hardcore championship and a kick out. Man, Triple H is getting worked on right now by the up and comer. Former Intercontinental Champion, Austin Theory. Now, Triple H has had years of experience here in World Walk Entertainment. Former WWE Champion, former NXT Champion, when that was a thing. Oh, Theory went for a moonsault, or a shooting star press, actually. Couldn't get that off. And Triple H with a right hand. And here we go. This is a hardcore championship. It's a hardcore match, which means false cut anywhere. Extreme rules. Triple H has a sledgehammer, and there we go. There is no time wasted for Triple H to bring the hardcore... <laughs> the hardcore aspect of this match into the play uh oh my god sledgehammer shots to theory theory tried to come back into this thing but the, the game is just absolutely oh no goes for a neck breaker and theory with a reversal but a reversal as well from the hardcore champion into a lariat back and forth we go here theory managing to get off of the uh, ground avoiding the ground game and another shooting star press there from theory Austin Theory on the top rope. Triple H is down. What can he do here? Elbow drop. This is a very impressive showing 
for Austin Theory. Can he somehow keep up this momentum? Oh, man. Triple H with an elbow right to the... Oh, no! Triple H went for the forearm, missed it, and oh, no. Theory tried to capitalize, but ate a back body drop, and now the sledgehammer once again. Every time Triple H feels like he's about to be in trouble, that sledgehammer comes right into the play. Oh, man. Another grapple missed there by Triple H. That's a very, pretty big mistake he's making over and over again. Fury sending Triple H to the outside of the ring. And this is where the match is going to be very dangerous, ladies and gentlemen. Fury into the cover on the game. Could that be it in the kick out? It was a two count. Very understandably, the man took a 10-foot tumble from the inside of the ring to the outside. And Fury remorselessly if that's a word i hope it's a word taking the pressure to triple h from the outside and more right hands though from the game after the counter all the referee can do is stand by and watch as these two absolutely kill each other finally another weapon gonna be entered into the match here and it's a steel chair i would have gone for the sledgehammer again but oh no fury not unable completely to hit triple h with that chair and man, Theory's going to pay for it. I think Triple H is going to go get that sledgehammer. Oh my god. Th Triple H doesn't want to do anything except to get that sledgehammer off. But Theory, wait a second. Oh my god. He's got him up. Knee connecting right with the back of Triple H's neck. The cover and a kick out. Theory can't believe it. I thought that was the end of that match. Good lord, and here we go. Oh, Theory thought about it. And Triple H... With a classic knee. Oh, right. <laughs> Breaking the nose off Theory, or at least <laughs> damaging it. Triple H sending Theory back into the ring. And more offense, though. Triple H trying to use the sledgehammer some more here. Can you imagine if Theory would have hit that sledgehammer shot? But Theory slamming the game down. The hardcore champion might be in trouble here as Theory. What can he do here? He's got to do something big. And again, trying to go for a power bomb. And Triple H reversing into a back body drop for the second time in this match. That might cost him. Triple H, double A spine buster to Austin Theory into the cover. That's got to be it. And a kick out from Austin Theory. I thought that was it. I thought it was over. I thought we had seen the end of this match. Triple H is going to try to put the nail in the coffin, though. I know that for a fact. No pedigree attempt yet. Triple H is wasting time here. Snap suplex, but you got to put him away. You got to put him away. The longer Triple H... Waste time inflicting more punishment to Austin Theory. The oh no, I don't know what Triple H is thinking here. And there you go. You should have went for the pedigree, Triple H. He hit the double A spine buster. Now Theory's gonna take advantage. Maybe not. Triple H gets sent to the outside. What is Theory's plan? Maybe it'll hurt more on the outside. I don't know. I, I don't know what Theory thinks he's doing. I think he's trying to go for a desperate win here. And referee taking way too long to count the three. What can Theory possibly do here to put this match in the back? Uh-oh! Ataxia! He got it! Are we going to see a new hardcore champion? That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Wow! Man, after all the sledgehammer shots, Fury didn't hit a single weapon. He tried. He tried to go for a weapon shot. It did not work at all. Fury thought he had it won with that. Man. Double A spine buster. You didn't, why didn't he go for the pedigree? What a flipping fool. Now listen, Fury is the new hardcore champion, but can he keep up the momentum? Of being the hardcore champion, this is really to build somebody up. You feel me? If you have several championship defenses, you, you you know you make a name for yourself. You can play in the main event scene in the future. Fury has an opportunity to do so. Look at that hardcore championship. That looks good on Theory. I'm not gonna lie to you, ladies and gentlemen. Up next, can John Moxley finally, after all this time being back in World Walk Entertainment? He had match with the Shield. They've they've come back together. They've had opportunities for tag team. John Moxley has not been able to get a win on his own at all. He's got an opportunity up next as he takes on one of his opponents for the tag team championship match at Christmas Chaos. Big E. That's up next. 
I mean, this is just a phenomenal opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. In, in a couple of weeks, December 25th, 2022, we are going to have a Christmas chaos. And on that show, John Moxley and Roman Reigns from The Shield will take on the New Day for the Tag Team Championships. But Moxley, listen, he is only in this opportunity because he is a part of The Shield. He has really fallen from grace since he left World Walk Entertainment a couple of years ago. Yep, close enough. <laughs> close enough. But he's honestly, just because he's in the shield, he's gotten these opportunities. He's not, you know, been the best um, singles competitor. But now this is the opportunity for John Moxley to finally get his first singles win in all of this time since his return. But Big E, potentially one of the three men that'll be competing for the tag team championships. Well, I mean, you know, with the tag team championships, the New Day are the tag team champions. Big E looks ready. This is Big E's first singles match in a long time as well. No shield, no New Day. And Moxley. Oh my god. Right hands immediately from Big E. Trying to take him down as much as he possibly can. A great start to the match for Moxley. But again, there it has been a complete sob story in terms of uh, oh man. In terms of Moxley's singles career. Off the ropes goes Big E and Moxley can't capitalize. And this is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. He just can't capitalize. Can't get the job done. And it's mistakes like that that really cost him. Big E, look at the big freaking biceps of Big E. Just a big man. His name is Big. <laughs> His first name is Big. These two going back and forth here. John Moxley going to stretch the arm of Big E in hopes of, you know, uh, uh, preventing a potential big ending later in this match. Back and forth strikes from these two. This is a very high-skilled matchup, but Big E with a pretty solid power slam there. He's going to the top rope. This is a 300 pound man from the top rope flying all the way across the ring here. Potentially, Moxley getting called up to his feet by Big E and oh my lord. That is outrageous. What? Sammy Zane, that is Sammy Zane's music. Sammy Zane's music has just hit. Um, Sammy Zane, what is he, what? what? Why is Sammy Zane's music hit? Sammy's, wait a minute, oh my god, he's right there, oh my god, who the kick to Big E, wait, the referee didn't even see it, what the hell is that about, Sammy Zayn hitting a Haluva kick to Big E, distracted him, Moxley crawling into the cover, no chance, no way, and Big E kicks out, Moxley, I don't even think he knew what, what, what happened just now, Sami Zayn just came out here and tried to help Moxley, but why? Why? What's the point? What is, what is the reason for that? Moxley, oh my god, Big E was coming back into this match. And Sami Zayn came in here and hit a Huluva kick and almost caused Big E the matchup, but definitely it hurt him. Because Big E, I mean, look at this. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Chalk it up to Sami Zayn's interference. Moxley is all over Big E right now, and this is unbelievable. A Haluva kick, some more offense from Moxley, and Big E refusing to let one of his challengers in a couple of weeks pick him off that easily. What the hell is Sami Zayn doing helping out somebody like Moxley? Oh, paradigm shift blocked by Big E. That is huge. Uh-oh. Big E, you've got to be smoking doinks. Big ending. No way. Can Big E pull this off? And Moxley with a kick out. Ah. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Big E off the ropes. Oh, no. Goes for a splash. And Moxley gets out of the way. That is huge as well.
what can Moxley do to come back into this thing? Or, well, what can, sorry, what can Big E do to come back into this thing? Because it's mostly Big E getting the work right now. Moxley, look at this. Up on the middle rope here. What is he going for? Oh, my God. He's hanging the guy by his neck. Dude. There's got to be something illegal about that. Like, come on. And more arm damage. This is getting, oh, man. This is getting uncomfortable, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm uncomfortable. Oh, God. Mox with Big E up. This is just a matter of time at this point. I mean, we're just reaching a weird inevitability here. Oh, man. Big E, huge reversal. But can he capitalize here? He's got Moxley up. Look at that. No way. Moxley back up on his feet. Goes for a strike, and Big E blocks that as well. Huge throw. Suplex from Big E. Can he capitalize? What is he? Oh, my God. I think there was a big ending attempt. From the floor, but Biggie eats a headbutt and a broken nose. Oh, that's not good. We're still going back and forth here, ladies and gentlemen. Biggie with blood pouring down his face after a halluva kick from Sami Zayn. After so much more offense, Biggie with another big ending to John Moxley into the cover. Mo. Man, can Big E end it? He is going for it again. Oh, he got it. That's going to do it. Put the nail in the coffin. No, Big E went for the big ending. He should have went for the cover. Instead, it is John Moxley uh, after reversing the third big ending, hitting a paradigm shift. Into the cover on Big E. John Moxley has picked up his first singles victory in World Walk Entertainment since returning. Oh my lord. Why didn't he go for the cover off the splash? Instead, he opened up an opportunity for Moxley to reverse that. What are these replays? To reverse the big ending. Oh my god. This is unbelievable. Chalk it up to the help of Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn came into this match, hit a halluva. I don't even know if John Moxley realizes it. I think he thinks he won this match all by himself. The man can't win a singles match on his own. But he's got his first win tonight. Good lord. We got our main event up next. I cannot believe these words are about to leave my mouth. But The Rock is about to take on Bailey in our main event of Monday Night Walker. I mean, The Rock, he's not really been feeling himself lately. I can't lie. He couldn't capture the WWE Championship on his second attempt. Lost the Intercontinental Championship in his first defense. So maybe his second defense. I think, no, it was his second defense. But it was only a month after he won it. And then uh, lost the Hardcore Championship after, what, a week or two weeks? I would just like the record to show that The Rock lost the Hardcore Championship to Ribby. Um, so, yeah. Rock is not really feeling the best. Next week is going to be a huge show, ladies and gentlemen. We got uh, Roman Reigns versus Kofi Kingston, just like we had John Moxley versus Big E tonight. But also, after Sami Zayn... Helped John Moxley win that match. Big E's a little bit pissed. We're going to have Sami Zayn versus Big E next week. We're also going to have the return of Sasha Banks. Um, Drew McIntyre's in action next week. We've got Isaiah Swerve Scott versus Brock Lesnar next week. we got a hardcore championship match. And then in our main event, we got Liv Morgan versus Ronda Rousey for the Women's Championship in a ladder match. The title will be defended at Christmas Chaos, but who's going to go into that match as the Women's Champion? It will be Ronda Rousey's first Women's Championship defense next week in a ladder match. Cannot wait for that, but The Rock eagerly awaiting his opponent tonight. Bailey, listen. Bailey has done a lot these last couple... Oh, my Lord. Look at her.
This woman could be the WWE Champion come Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, this is unbelievable. Bailey. <laughs> Good lord. Bailey's gonna go one on one with The Rock. Being accompanied by the other members of the CWO. AJ Styles not here. He lost earlier tonight. But man, oh man. Bailey's done a lot of things. She was she beat Ribby for the hardcore championship, right? That's that's cool. That's fun. Okay. Now, listen. It's one thing to do that. It's another thing when you lose to Triple H at the you know beginning of last week's episode. But then on the same night, Drew McIntyre gets attacked. She enters herself into the tournament and then beats Bobby Lashley and then beats Omos and then beats Isaiah Swerve Scott in the same night. You know all of these guys are very, very, very insecure about the fact that they're getting beat up by a girl here. And in some cases, this is genius because it's making... You know, the opponent that Bailey faces work even harder because they don't want to be the guy that had a competitive match with a girl. You know what I mean? And and you know, no matter how many performance enhancers she takes, I'm just gonna I'm gonna say it. I'm not gonna throw out any more accusations after that, but you know, I'm I'm just gonna let's let's be let's be real here. Let's call a spade a spade, ladies and gentlemen. And now you got Bailey having a competitive match with the effing rock. I mean, come on. Bailey eating uh, some of those moves to the outside there. I don't know if The Rock's going to go after. Yeah, he is. Listen, Bailey, I, you can't even call her a fluke. This woman beat three men last week. One of them is a former tag team champion and former hardcore champion. My God. And now you got Bailey. If Bailey beats The Rock, listen, Stone Cold. Something. Listen, I don't know what to tell you, but Bailey wrenching the neck of The Rock. Referee's counting both of these people out, by the way. Riddle trying to create a little bit of a distraction there. I forgot the CWO was at ringside. Rock getting back into the ring. And now Bailey getting sent for a ride here. Knees right onto the ribs of ba I mean, this is this is, you know, a competitive match. And I like it. Bailey was the most dominant woman in the women's division. You know what I mean? And because of the losses that she suffered, you know, got some insecurities going. And that led her to bulking up like this and taking on the men. This is that was the whole plan. And it's working. She's now competing for the WWE Championship. It was all really a big plan by the CWO, but I don't know if they meant it to go this far. But, I mean, man, how much do you feel like every single win that Bailey puts under her belt? I mean, she had three of them last week. How many of these wins do you think damage the, the psyche of every single male competitor in World Walk Entertainment? I don't know. Rock on the top rope. Bailey's got to do something big here in a crossbody from the top rope from the Rock, who continues the assault on the arm. Bailey back up to her feet now. I mean, this is unbelievable. She's literally only competing against the men because she wants to prove to the other women that she's better than them. But I mean, she's taking it to the extreme. Oh my God! Bailey to belly. Can this woman beat the freaking rock? Can you imagine? Riddle is loving it on the outside. Bailey, after the Bailey to belly into the cover, there's no way. There's no way. Oh, my God. I mean, you would think, you would hope that the number one contender for the women's championship absolutely does. You know, oh, my God, rock. Reversing the rose plant. And here we go. I mean, this is just going to be a beat down now. The Rock has had enough of this. Oh, no. But Bailey catching the leg. Rock letting his anger get the best of him. We've had issues in the past with The Rock not going for the people's elbow or going for, you know, for the cover after The Rock bottom. We've had a lot of issues with that in the past. 
I'm starting to see a little bit of that right now. I can't lie to you. Oh, man. Rock with a drop kick, but Bailey just ate it. She ate the drop kick. Are you smoking crack? There's a 280-pound man just drop kicked you right in the body, and Bailey just ate it like it was nothing. Cover on the rock once again. Cover. Oh, my God. A two count, but man. What is Bailey doing? Rock with a DDT. And now the People's Champion going to drag Bailey to the center of the ring. What is he going to go for here? Oh, boy. Is this going to be enough to put Bailey away? Bailey, she's right there to the ropes. If she crawls a little bit further, she could probably get there. Rock with a sharpshooter. Bailey does not look like she's struggling at all. She was just waiting for the opportunity to get out of this thing. Good lord. Rock back up. My computer uh, ran out of storage. So let's continue, let's continue, folks, huh? Jeez Louise. Oh my god. Bailey went for the rock bottom. Sorry, rock went for the rock bottom. Bailey reversed it. I can't believe. I can't believe that. Oh my god. The strikes from Bailey continuing. She reversed the rock bottom. Rock already hit a sharpshooter as well. Oh my god. This one might be moments away from beating the longest reigning hardcore champion of all time. Former Intercontinental Champion. Multiple time number one contender for the WWE Championship. Bailey with an elbow drop from the top rope and the rock rolls out of the way. Clothesline. How much longer can we keep this up, folks? Enough clothesline from Bailey. Oh, there's no way. There's no way. Bailey dropping the knee onto the back of the rock who rolls over to his back. Bailey on top rope once again. Here we go. Elbow drop from the top rope. Bailey hit it. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a wrap. It is a wrap. Bailey with a rose plant on the rock. Into the cover. Oh my god. I don't know what I would have done with myself. I don't know what I would have done with myself. If this woman would have beaten the rock off of one rose plant. Holy crap. Bailey on the top rope. Calling for the rock to get up. Cross body. The rock is hurt. He is down. Is he out? Bailey went for the belly to belly, but rock with his own moves before. Oh my god, what is he going for here? No, The Rock gonna try to end it with a submission hold. Man, I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna be enough to do it. The Rock just desperately trying to put Bailey away. I don't know if it's gonna work, folks. Bailey with a more strikes to the fucking people's champion. Good lord! Bailey! Oh my lord. No, he missed the last one. Back and forth we go. How much more can we take? What a match this is. Can Bailey do it? Oh, no. Goes for the Bailey to Bailey and the Rock. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A clothesline. Bailey might be in trouble. Bailey might be in trouble. Oh, man. Oh, chops right to the chest. Rock is in beast mode right now. DDT. We are in for a ride, ladies and gentlemen. The Rock goes for Rock Bottom, but missed it. He missed it. Changes the plans and drop kicks Bailey out of the ring. Oh, my God. The man had a change up. He missed the Rock Bottom. That might have been it. Why didn't he just go for it again? Bailey, after that Bailey to Bailey got reversed, has not been able to do literally anything. And The Rock, go what is he going for on the outside of the ring? What are you, nuts? Oh, my God. This woman is incredible. I can't believe what we're seeing right now. Bailey with the setting The Rock into the steel steps and getting back into the ring taunting 
Referee had a seven count and Bailey gonna follow the rock to the outside. Oh my god, dude. Chop block to the back of the leg. Referee continuing the count, but Bailey trying to make sure that the rock has it does no offense to put her away at all. Good lord. The rock said look that how many how far? Bailey just threw the rock. Are we kidding? We gotta we gotta get this back into the ring. Bailey throwing the rock back in. But what is she doing? Rock's getting up to his feet slowly. Oh no! Bailey caught him right before he hit that punch. I can't tell whose game this is, to be honest with you. I don't know what we got going on, folks. Bailey going to the top rope. The Rock is down. Elbow drop again, attempted to the back, and the Rock got out of the way. This is what a match this is between both of them. Good lord. Bailey is down the rock going to the top rope, but she's a little far, folks. I don't know what the rock thinks he's doing. Oh man. Calling Bailey to get up to her feet. The rock gets down. What was the point of that one? I don't think the rock had enough confidence to go for a move off the top rope. Instead, drops Bailey. Oh man. More chops, dude. This is insane. Bailey, you can tell Bailey's hurt. She, I don't know if she's ready for this scene, man. She's really not. Rock went for another rock bottom. I don't know if you guys caught that. But the rock went for another rock bottom. Bailey managed to ca not counter it, but hit a move of her own before that even happened. Oh, my God, Bailey. We are just at We are. Oh, no. Rock throwing Bailey to the outside of the ring again. What a match this is. The Rock's most competitive match since Walker Mania is against Bailey, which is honestly incredible. World Walker Entertainment, all we do is equality, you feel me? But man, Rock is really just trying to make sure that Bailey does not get back into this thing. And it's, it's kind of disappointing. Oh no. Oh my god. I don't know if The Rock realizes what he just did, but Bailey is, is bleeding. She, I think the, the Rock just saw, and he's going to reset the count. I think, I mean, this is, I don't know how to feel about this, folks. I don't know how to feel about this. I mean, this is, this is just a beat down now. The Rock, oh my God. You don't have to do this. We get it, Rock. You're 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 that guy. You're him, but we, you don't have to be ashamed, dude. Look at her; she's buff. Six. Referee at a six count. We gotta get this match back in the ring. I mean, Bailey, what are you doing? I'd hate for the match to end by count out. It looks like that's what's gonna happen. No, we gotta restart this match then. No way, Bingley. Resetting the count? What was that? Referee didn't end the match. Instead, was no for the run. Oh no! Out of nowhere, the rock bottom on Bailey. What? What? Bailey just kicked out of. Bailey just kicked out of the rock bottom. But The Rock going for a sharpshooter as well. Trying to end this. Oh, my God. Bailey with a tap. Oh. I don't know what to think about that. That match was insane. I mean, Bailey is the number one contender by the way for the wwe championship and i'm not you know let's we gotta give her credit but i mean this is she might not be ready folks she might not be ready she's gonna have that match against austin but 
she might not be ready. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for Monday Night Walker. We'll see you next week.